In this video, uh, I'm going to uh, do some examples on factorization. And uh, in factorization, perfect square and difference of two squares are two formulas which are very useful. So I'll go over these formulas. So the formula is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a plus b the whole squared. If you want to prove this, you can prove it yourself. Expand this. This can be written as a plus b times a plus b, which will give you this. Okay, or whichever way you want to read. So let's read the, from the from this side. So a minus b the whole squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And uh, this is called difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. And this is also a neat formula. In a perfect square, this is called the middle term. Plus or minus 2ab is called the middle term. So I've written so this is the middle term, this is the first term, and this is the last term. And this is called a perfect square expression. In a perfect square expression, the first term and the last term are squares, and so they would always be positive. Okay? And uh, the middle term, this is the middle term, is always plus or minus, either plus or minus, not both, 2 times the square root of the first term times the square root of the last term. The formula itself tells you a is the square root of a squared and b is the square root of b squared. Okay, so let us use these formulas to factorize this. Now I can see x squared y squared minus 18x squared minus 9y squared plus 144 minus 48xy. So when I look at this, I can I see, see what happens if I take this and this as a group. So let me write that x squared y squared i'll leave some space here plus 144 that's one group and let me change colors the next group is minus 16 x squared minus 9 uh, i'll let me leave some space there minus 16 y squared okay uh, yeah and uh, let me write this in a different color. So let me see. This is plus 48xy as it is. I'm not doing any changes there. Now, what should be the middle term here? The middle term here should be, I think this was the color. Yeah. Uh, the middle term is, the, the square root of this is xy and the square root of this is 12. So the middle term has to be 2 it can be plus or minus so I'm saying it should be plus 24xy it's plus 24xy so what I have done is I've taken 24xy from here I got 24x I got 48xy so I've taken 48xy from here so what is left I got the other 24xy left so I'll write plus 24xy here. I'll try to squeeze in and then cunningly I'll take this off. So what I've done is, so let me bring this back. So this was 48xy. From 48xy, I took 24xy, I gave 24xy here and I gave 24xy here. Okay, so or in other words, this is 24xy plus 24xy is 48xy so I can't have this 24xy so I am deleting it so this is so this has me we have got now two groups so this is one group and this is the other group so the next step can be written as x squared y squared plus 24xy plus 144 minus if you factor the minus out, this will be 16x squared minus 24xy plus 16, ah, this should be plus 9y squared, sorry. I made a mistake here, so this should be minus 9y squared. I at times get carried away. It's always good to find my mistake. So this is minus 9y squared. So this is, I took this two from here. Yeah, I hope you can see that. So this is plus 9y squared. Now to confirm whether it's a perfect square, I will write in this form. 
Okay, so this is a perfect square. You can also try a, to, a different way of checking is the square root of x squared y squared is xy. The square root of 144 is 12 and then you double it. Multiply this two, that is you take 12 from here, the square root of 144 and the square root of this is xy. So 12 times xy is uh, tw uh, 12xy times 2 is 24xy. But I'll do one more step. So this is nothing but xy the whole squared plus 2 times xy times 12 plus 12 the whole squared. So I've written in this form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. I hope you can see it. Let me scroll this is slightly up. Okay. Minus uh, minus this I'll write as 4x squared. This is very crucial. You want to confirm whether this fits in here. Minus 2 times I'll write 4x from here and this can be written as 3y the whole squared and I can write 3y here and confirm 2 times 4 is minus and minus is there 2 times 4 is 8 times 3 is 24 so this is this you can compare with this formula and this bracket you can compare with this formula so finally the answer is not finally sorry so this is one more step so this is xy plus 12 the whole squared minus 4x minus 3y the whole squared. Now I would apply this formula of difference of two squares. So this is equal to, I'll keep this in bracket, so xy plus 12 minus 4x minus 3y and the next bracket would be xy plus 12 plus 4x minus 3y. So let us simplify. So let us open the bracket. So this is xy plus 12 minus, so be careful. So this is minus 4x plus 3y. And this bracket, simply opening it, it's xy plus 12 plus 4x minus 3y. And this is enough. So this is your answer of this expression. Okay. So let us do one more. So here you got x squared plus three. Sorry, you got three x cubed plus six x squared plus x plus two. Now this seems to be a bit difficult, but if you if you have practice, you can see through the. If you make a group, if you make two groups here. What can you factor out in the first group? Okay, first look at the numbers. So you got three here and you got a six here. So you can factor out a three there. You got x cubed and x squared. So I can factor out an x squared. So now you put in bracket. So you think three x squared times what is three x cubed? That is x. And this has to be two. And what is common here? Uh, nothing is common in fact one is common so you can if you can factor out a one so you have x plus two common okay now people and some of you may not understand this this is same as writing x times one plus two times one one is a factor of all expressions so you can factor out this one that's how we got <coughs> x plus one so now you can factor out this x plus 2 out. So this is x plus 2 times 3x squared plus 1. 